I'm using four yards of Ankara fabric. This is four yards of sardine and eight yards of tulle. You could use more if you want to, but this is what I have. So I'm just going to work with it and do the best I can. So let's go ahead and do our folds to cut. First, this is going to be the top. This is the other fabric, the top of our train. And this is going to be for lining. And we're going to use this in the middle to create some volume. We're using the tool to create the volume since we don't have enough fabric. So let's go ahead, let's do some folds and cut. And I'm cutting and joining over there because I want my pattern to continue to flow. As you can see, my fabric has this peacock pattern in it and I want it to continue to flow. So I have to cut my fabric into half and join them to line up instead of just cutting the separate fabric like that. So now I'm just gonna join it. Follow the line, just join it to make one piece and have one piece instead of two separate. I've got my pattern line up now. Instead of being side by side, it's standing a long way. That way at least I can get it to flow from the top of her waist all the way down to the end of the tree. So that was my goal. And we're just doing the measurements. And we're going to do some cutting and just do the best we can to make it happen. So if this is your first time coming across our channel, we want to say welcome. Thank you for stopping by. Please, please, please consider subscribing to our channel. There's a lot of inspiration here. We do sewing. We do embroidery. We do t-shirt making. We do a lot of arts work um, crafting on here. So we just encourage you to feel free, be a part of our family. And for those of you, our returnees, our regular viewers, our dearest beloved subscribers, we say thank you. Thank you so much for your support. We appreciate every one of you. Thank you so much. At this point, we're close to 500 now. And I can't wait to reach that 500 to start using our community tab. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. You don't know how much this means to me. I appreciate every one of you. Let's continue to learn and improve our craft together, especially during these times that um, things are getting so expensive and hard. And there's a lot of things we can learn to do ourselves instead of just spending every little dollar that we have. We need to learn to keep some of those dollars in our pockets. So I just encourage everyone to just... I know everyone cannot learn to do everything, but if it's something that you know you can put in that little time and you know that you can learn it, just put in that little time, just put in that time and learn to do something, especially with your hands, things for home. Sometimes, you know, we think that these things are things that, oh, um, well, it's not my thing, but you never know where it leads you. It was never my thing. Yeah, but I came to a point where I found comfort in it. I just found so much relaxation in it, and it became a therapy for me. So I just got stuck with crafting because every time I made something, I felt good about it when I look at it. So I just encourage others to just try. So I went ahead and gathered my auto fabric. After cutting and joining, as you can see, I gather it. So it's gonna go like this. You can see here. That's how it's gonna go. And I've done the same thing with my tool. I already prepped the tool. So I just cut it to the same length of this. No sorry not the same length it's shorter than this 
because it's not going to be visible. It's inside. It's the under lay. So it's actually shorter than both the lining and the, the skirt measurement. So it's going to be on there, but I've already cut and prep it. And the only prep you have to do after you cut it is just the to gather it. I've already gathered. I did that earlier. I did it off camera, but in case you don't know how to gather your tool, just look on my channel. There, there's video of me gathering tool, making tool skirts. So you can check out those. It should be detailed, but for this one, I'm in a hurry now. So this is going to be the underlay. It's going to go between the skirt and the lining. So I'm going to cut the lining the same length of the skirt. And then we're going to go ahead and do the sewing. I fold them on lining fabric into two. and I'm just measuring to get the length and shape of my my top fabric and I'm going to cut it the same and be able to fit them together but first I've already ironed my top fabric making sure my gather lines are just in place and so I'm going to be placing the tool inside of my skirt leaving four inches on each side of the waist so on the left side you're going to leave four inches on the right side you're going to leave four inches on the waistline place your tool in the middle of those four inches right four inches left and you join your tool and skirt together those four inches you left on each side four inch on right side four inch on left side we're going to use them later on as we go along and you will see why we left them there so please remember to leave it because it's going to help to like maybe i should say hide your lining a little bit to form a curve like you see on the the train so remember to leave the four inches on each side if you're following this step now we're just going to go join them together by stitching And we have that four inches left on each side remember so as you can see okay I've done the stitching It's in the middle of it there's four inches on each side there's extra piece on each side you can leave as much as you want but I chose to go four inches because I think that was gonna be enough so you want to flip your skirt over right side facing up and then take your lining piece right side facing the right side of your fabric that's how you're gonna place it right sides facing and now you're going to pin it pin it from the actual beginning of your waist you're going to pin it over there from the beginning of your waist where your four inches were left you're going to pin them together over there and there's going to be some space left in the middle but don't worry about that space in the middle of your waist we're going to deal with it as we go you're going to see how it's going to turn out we're going to create pleats out of that to be able to fit it in your skirt so make sure you pin it end to end of your two fabrics now we have two uh, um pieces we're working with so yes you're pinning those two ends together as you see me pin them together over there that's how we're going to pin them together and after that, we're going to create some box pleats in the middle of your lining there where the opening is. You can gather if you want to gather, but I prefer to go with the box pleats because I feel like the box pleats kind of lay down better. It looks, yeah, more, I don't know, just my preference, but you can choose if you want to gather it. But I went with um, large box pleats over there and it worked out really well. So I'm just pinning my skirt together all the way down to the end of it where my curve begins. That's where I'm ending my pinning. Because I'm going to stitch from the waist down to the beginning of the curve. And then we're going to hem it individually when we get to the beginning of the curve there. So I just want you to follow this step carefully, please. I'm flipping the skirt inside out. And then we're going to start 
fixing in the middle to fill in that opening. For this part you can gather if you want to but i'm just gonna do um large box pleats just to absorb the ss fabric around the waistband to make sure it fits this 23. so first you remember this you want to fold it in like this. And then you have like this. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. And then we will stitch that waist. So now we're gonna cut the waistband. Remember the length of your waistband because you're gonna be using the full measurement of your waist, your entire waist, and the head of your waistband. That's what you're gonna use to cut your waist. If you want a um one inch waistband, remember you have to cut three inches because you're gonna have to fold, and you're gonna have to have sewing allowance. So remember that, consider all that. And like I said, you're using, to cut your waistband, you're using the full measurement of your client's waist or your own waist. So after you cut that, just line it with the stabilizer, whatever interfacing you have. And that's what you're gonna use to line your waistband and then just attach it to your skirt and make sure to trim off the excess fabric in there because on your waist line there will be extra there will be extra fabric over there from joining your three pieces together so you want to make sure you trim but do not trim before joining your waistband join your waistband before you trim off your excess fabric that way you'll be able to know how much you have to trim off and then as you can see now i'm just folding over my waistband fabric I'm folding it on top of the raw edge of my, my skirt. And now I'm going to just stitch it over there to complete my waistband. And this is the final review of our train. Oh, man. This came out more beautiful than I expected. I did not think it was going to be this cute. So I made because since I was working with 
limited fabric i did not and just on the waistband there like i show i cut my waistband i did not join it my waistband i use velcro and i think you see on it the chest is just a extra board i made for her just to blend in with her train so it don't look too different for everything so i just made her extra boa so thank you too i mean yeah so and i want to say thank you for watching all the way to this end this took me a couple of hours to get done but i'm glad the way it came out i'm so excited and i hope she's gonna love it like i love it and i hope you're gonna love it too so let me know down in the comment section if you enjoy making this or if you enjoy watching it and check out our channel for other inspiration like share subscribe and thank you god bless you